All right, everybody. Okay, so today we're going to talk about arrays. Um, the form validation thing, I think you guys have enough now for you guys to create some robust form security for your JavaScript forms. Um, I'll be adding more stuff to that later. But right now, I want to talk about arrays and how you could actually use this stuff um, to store things inside it and use it for like image galleries, uh, data, different data types that you want to hold, banners, and other fun stuff. There's a lot of things you can do with arrays. Um, but right now, I want to show you guys how to create an array, and then I want to show you guys uh, what to do with methods such as splice and slice. Okay? So let's get right into it. So arrays, what are they? Um, arrays are basically things that you could use to store data types, as I said. So you could store, what's cool about it is you could store in JavaScript, you could store strings, uh, integers, floats, uh, booleans, all in one array. It doesn't have to be limited to just using a string. It doesn't have to be limited to just using an integer. It would be all those things put into one array. So for example, var array one equals, you would create it by saying new array, and then you put in the number of data types you'd like to put in there. So let's put uh, 100. All right, so all right, alert array1.length. So let's see. We have 100 items in our array, right? So let's call on array0. Nothing's going to show up because nothing's in there undefined <laughs> but that's the first item in our array what about item 50 undefined <laughs> all right so let's start putting things into our array array 50 equals what's up all right the string what's up okay so alert array one item number 50 wait we screwed up somewhere that's why it's, oh, okay, screw it up here. <laughs> we forgot to put the one. All right, so now it should go. What's up, right? So that's what's inside array one item number 50, okay? So now you guys know how to create an array and store things inside your array. We could also put it in array item number 14. 50, I accidentally typed 15, but who cares? Okay, so now we'll put true in there. Okay, we put a boolean in there, all right? So alert array one item number four, 14. Keep putting 15. True, yeah, true that. We have a true inside item number 14 in array number one, all right? So now you guys know how to store things inside your array. Now, um, now you, you guys have a clear idea of what, how to make one. Let's talk about methods such as slice and splice. First we'll talk about slice. So what is slice? Slice is basically taking your array and slicing it to make new arrays. Okay, so for example, um, let's just change this here. Okay, I'll show you new, another way where you could create an array, how to create an array. You could just put square brackets like this and just start putting things as you wish. All right, so let's put a bunch of stuff in there. Let's put string two. Over here we'll put string one. Okay. Uh, what else could we put in here? We'll put uh, 100. We'll put false. All these random data types inside this array. What's going on here? Okay. So we have six items in that array. So with slice we're gonna we're going to tell the program um, which items we'd like to start to slice, which where we'd like to start slicing. Okay, so var array number two. Let's just print out array one, so you guys can see the original array. Then array two equals array one dot slice, right? Because we're calling it; it's a function. So dot slice, where's 
Array 1 is the one we're slicing, right? And we put two things in here. The number, um, where we'd like to start. So let's say we want to start here and end here, right? So it's 0, 1, 2. So we're starting at position 2, so we put 2 here. And then we'd like to end on position 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once again, even though there are six items in this array, JavaScript starts at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we want to end at position number five. So let's show you guys what comes up. Array two, right? So we now have a new array, and it did exactly what we wanted, right? So zero, one, two starts there. 3, 4, 5. But it didn't bring back false. It didn't bring back that boolean. That's exactly what's going to happen. When you're using slice, the last position is not going to be called back. It's going to end at that position, but it's not actually going to call that data type. It's going to leave that out. So it, it calls the first position, but the last position is going to leave out. It's going to include everything in between those. Okay. So true, string 2, and 100, right? So let's do another example. Let's say we were to start at position uh, number 1 and then end at position number 4, right? So what would happen would be 0, 1. So it would bring back 4, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So it would end at 100, but it would only bring back these three, right? So 4, true, and string 2. Okay, so let's see that. Right, so just as I said, 0, 1, right, 2, 3, 4, right? So it brought back everything in between, the, uh, between that, but it included the first item, but it did not include the last item, and it's always going to do that. So 4, true, and string 2, 4, true, and string 2. Okay, so hopefully you guys get that. Now we're going to talk about splice. So this one is kind of like slice, but you add a P. Okay? Splice. Splice. Alright, so hopefully you get that. Because <laughs> I know some of you motherfuckers are getting confused over that. And if there's any kids, I'm sorry. I swore there. I know it's bad. God damn. Have to do it sometimes. So get that clear. Splice and slice. There's a P. All right, so don't screw up on that part. I sure did. All right, so what's going to happen <laughs> with Splice is you could actually delete certain items in your array and at the same time add them, add certain data types. So this is special because there are other functions like push, pop, and shift and unshift, which adds data types at the start and at the end. With splice, you could actually delete things or add things in between, right? It gives you the power to do that, right? So for example, um, we're going to start at position number zero, and then we're going to take away two items at, um, starting from position zero. So it would take away string one and four, right? We're also going to add uh, a string, okay? So we'll, we'll put added this string okay so if we uh, document the write that array 2 right it's gonna show us um, the items that were taken off right so string 1 and 4 just like we thought right so because it's starting at position number 0 which is right here make this more clear for you sorry that I took that off array 1 so it could show you the original array that we were working with and you could see the difference okay so okay sorry about that I'm screwing up right now it basically <laughs> that that was a newly okay you know what we'll do you're confusing the viewers cat stop this okay so that's the original array right and uh, we told it to start at position number 0 so zero, right, and and then delete two data types starting at position zero. So zero, one, right? So it deleted two data types. And then when you call that 
splice array, it's going to bring back the items that it deleted, right? Now, if you actually want to get a newly updated array, if you guys saw what was going on earlier when I was trying to show you the original array, I document that wrote it right here, and it showed something different. That's what was happening. Um, it was showing you the newly updated array. Okay, so. Oh, what am I doing? Array one. You'd have to uh, write the first array, the original array. It'll show you the newly updated array one. Okay, so as you can see, just like we said, delete two items starting at position zero and add a new string. Okay, so that's the third input that you put. You put the things that you want to add. Okay, so added this string is is being shown there. Sorry guys, there's just uh, too much clicking going on. Hopefully you're not getting too confused. Added this string has been added to position number zero, and then they took away string one and four, right? And then what's left after that is true string two hundred and false. So now let's say we were to start at position number two, zero, one, two, right? And then delete two data types starting from that position. So it would take away um, zero, one, two. It would take away true and string two, right? So, and then it would add added the string. So let's try that out, All right? So as we said, it took away true and string two because this is the original one, right? So starting at position two, zero, one, two, and then take away two. So it would take away these two, right? Just like it says here, that's the splice. It's showing you what you did take out. And then this is a newly updated array, right? String one, four, added the string, 100 false, right? It added it in position number two, zero, one, two, okay? So hopefully you guys get that. I know it was a lot to take in. You guys learned how to make an array, and then you jumped right into splice and slice. And now you have to tell the difference between the two in terms of spelling and what they do. <laughs> All right? So take that in, and then the next tutorial, we'll move on to push, pop, shift, unshift. And then after that, we'll start making magic happen. All right? And then you guys can get hired for your new job. <laughs> I know how to use splice and splice. Okay, enough jokes. Done with this. Peace.